Hey everyone, so today I thought I would finally give a house tour of our place here in Japan and one of your options for base housing. So this is what the external storage looks like. Ours is a mess. And then it's the front door. So this is what it looks like when you first walk in. This is where we decided to put our couch um, and our chairs, just our sitting area. And then there's our backyard. We have a playground in the back of our backyard. And then as you can see, it's not a big backyard, but um, we felt pretty lucky um, for getting a backyard because that's basically what the units look like. You either get an upstairs or a downstairs. And luckily we got a downstairs and it's a pretty nice view. So that's the door where you walk in. We have a nice closet here. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then we have just our little table right there. And then the kitchen is in there, our bedroom's in there. And then as you can see, the bathroom's in there. And then the second bedroom is over there. I'll take you into our first closet that we have here. It's not super big, but it's doable. And then here's another look from the hallway area. I'll take you into the bathroom, which is probably my least favorite part about these units. So just your standard tiny bathroom. Um, yeah, not much going on, um, but it's doable. And then we'll walk into the second bedroom. And in here, we have a couch that kind of turns into a bed. Um, and then Matt has his computer set up and all his guitars. And then there's some nice closet space in here and up top. And then a nice view of backyard again. And here's just another look of this area. The bedrooms are pretty small, but they definitely could be worse. So now I'll take you through our bedroom, the first main bedroom. So there's um, some storage right here and up top, and then you just walk through, and this is how we have ours set up. Just have our bed and nightstands, laundry, and then again, you have two nice closets there and some storage up top as well. And then our view out on the street, so this is what all of the units look like if you're in an H style, a two bedroom H style. And then we have two parking spots. Ours are right there. Here's just another angle. And if you're wondering, this is a queen size bed. You can fit a king size bed in here, but it's gonna be a little tight. And then if you walk this way into the hallway, you have our laundry room, got our washer and dryer, a little bit of storage. <laughs> it's our cat, Uni. Um, and then that's where I keep their little boxes and things like that. And then if you walk over here, here's the kitchen area. Um, so we just have a dining, a small dining table um, and then some storage. She's very vocal. And then this is what your kitchen looks like. Very normal, simple kitchen, just your average kitchen. So you have your dishwasher, your oven, your refrigerator, and then you do have to buy a microwave um, and anything else that you need. And then again, here's our view into the parking lot. And then here's another angle. And then you walk out into the living room and again there's bedroom number two bathroom our bedroom and that's it so as you can see it's a pretty small and simple unit we live in a two bedroom h style house on north base and i'll just explain how we got the house 
and just a few other tips when you're moving here and what to look at in a house. So you basically have two options when looking for a house here. Um, you can either have your sponsor do it if they're willing to, or you can wait and stay at the hotel for um, a few weeks while you're looking for a house. We had our sponsor look for a house in advance because we just didn't want to live in a hotel for two weeks. Um, and luckily we got a unit that was pretty good compared to a lot of other units on base. For example, we had a brand new carpet, brand new flooring, and brand new AC. And there's a lot of places on base that are not as nice as this unit, unfortunately. So we felt pretty lucky getting this place. So when you go to housing, you can ask them for houses with um, preferences. So if you have a preference, whether you live on North Base or Main Base, or if you absolutely want an AC, or if you don't really care about having AC, um, housing will try to accommodate you, but at the same time, they might only have one unit available when you get stationed here. They might have five available. You just never know what your options are going to be. So it can be kind of frustrating and a little bit scary when looking at houses here. What we were told before moving here was basically North Base was more updated and had all or majority of them had ACs while Main Base was a little less updated and a lot of the units on Main Base didn't have AC. So that was kind of a deal breaker for us. We definitely wanted a unit with AC. Um, and one of my tips coming here is if you have an option of an AC and no AC option, 100% go with the AC option. I really don't understand how people survive here without AC. Um, I think you could survive here maybe 10 years ago without AC, but it is not like that anymore. Um, we've had a few friends go to the hospital for heat exhaustion because their house is too hot and they live on the ninth floor tower with no AC. There's been pets that have died because um, there's no AC in some units. So please just do yourself a favor and get a unit with AC. So once we decided on North Base, we had our sponsor go and look at two units that were available on North Base and they only gave us those two options. So one option was obviously our age style that we have now and then a first floor tower, um, which was actually a little bit bigger than this unit, but I did not want to be on the first floor of a tower um, and I wanted a backyard. So we ended up choosing this one for those two reasons. It was really nice having our sponsor set up everything for us beforehand because Basically, right after we got off the rotator, we got to come home to our house and ROM here for those two weeks due to the virus rules. We still have those rules in place today. So you'll just have to ask your sponsor what the rules are. Um, and so that's what we decided to do. You might want to end up staying in a hotel if um, you want to look at the unit yourself, I definitely would recommend staying in the hotel. Or if you find, if you can't find units that you like, you can wait until maybe next week and there might be better options. So I'll just explain a little bit of the pros and cons of North Base versus Main Base. I've already said a few of them, but basically Main Base is way more convenient. You're right next to the commissary. You're basically next to everything on base. Um, so I do miss having that option. Like if you just forget something at the store, it literally takes 30 seconds and you're at the commissary. Um, but North Base is really only like an eight minute drive in the summer and maybe like a 12 minute drive in the winter. So it's not too bad. Another pro to main base is you're closer to getting off base. So basically if you go anywhere off base, your trip is gonna be shorter because you're so close to the gate. Whereas on North Base, we don't have a gate, so you can't leave from North Base. You have to drive to Main Base to get off base. So a pro to North Base is that there's a lot less children. Um, you don't really have to deal with a lot of the noise, which is nice if you don't have kids. Another pro to North Base is you're very close to the base beach. It's basically just a walk away from basically anywhere on North Base. So that's really nice. And then like I said before, um, all of the units here are way more updated and most of them have AC, which is really nice. But a con for North Base is driving in the winter. If you're scared of driving in the snow, it's pretty scary having to drive from Main Base to North Base, even though it is a short drive, the plows are not as efficient as you think they would be. So it can get pretty scary and take quite a lot longer than if you just lived on Main Base. 
Another con to main base, like I said, would be the noise. There's just a lot more things happening, a lot more children and a lot more people on main base, as well as the jets. The jets are way louder on main base compared to north base. Another thing I forgot to mention is that if you are married or if you have a family, you are required to live on base um, in Japan. No matter what base it is, you are required to live on base, which I feel is unfortunate because the houses off base are much larger than what you can get on base. Um, so it's kind of strange because we'll have single friends who live in a three or four bedroom place um, off base, but then we'll have friends with children that live in like a two or three bedroom on base. Um, so I think that rule definitely needs to be looked at, but unfortunately that is the scenario for right now. And I think Japan is the only country that requires you to live on base. I know that like in Europe or in Germany, if you're stationed there, um, you can live off base. And the single airmen that can live off base have to be an E4 or above. If you're an E4 and below, you have to live on base at the dorms. If anyone does have any more questions about the housing on base, you can leave it in the comments below and I will try to answer it to the best of my abilities. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. I hope you liked our house tour and I'll see you in our next video.